Elizabeth Triggs grew up with eight brothers and sisters, and each one of them was taught to volunteer by their mother. Following her example, Elizabeth has committed her life to serve those most in need in our community. She's in the business of delivering food to families, uh, finding clothing for families, uh, running community events, multiple events per year, and I, th I just was amazed at how much she actually did. I was immediately struck by her energy, by her just boundless enthusiasm for what she does, and that's helping people out. So it was, it was just clear the moment that I met her that she radiated love. Um, she doesn't judge. She just knows if somebody's hungry or if the kids don't have shoes or if they don't have a warm coat. And she finds that person in the community that can help. Elizabeth operates None Like You, We Care Outreach, a nonprofit which provides assistance and resources to those in need. While the organization is considered small, it is strengthened by the connections Elizabeth has established in the community. She has the confidence and the support of elected officials, uh, the mayor, the county executive, uh, legislators, council members, judges, uh, district attorneys. They know who she is and they, they're proud to call her a partner. And she has um, partnerships with like Home Depot and Walmart. She's gone to the managers of those stores and told her story. And now the manager at Home Depot's on her speed dial. You know, we need this, we need that. It's pretty fascinating. We've, we've always said she's probably the most effective deliverer of services in Buffalo. While Elizabeth works year round to serve the needs of her community, her work increases each year during the holiday season. She just finished serving over 6,000 meals for, um, for Thanksgiving. And she did that all throughout the city. And when she first told me about it, I thought she was rather nuts. And I thought, 6,000 meals? Are you kidding? Who's gonna put them all together? She literally corralled the whole DA's office. They were, they were all there. More than anything, you can't comprehend that she cooked those turkeys up in her kitchen. 134 turkey, turkeys in bags, thousands of boxes of stovetop stuffing in, in her kitchen. I have no idea. Yesterday, we brought her turkeys for uh, Thanksgiving because she needed 25 for 25 families. And so Catholic Charities stepped up and we were able to supply her with those turkeys. And I took them out of my truck and I put them right in her car. And I got back into the truck and Lisa said to me, she goes, you just threw them in the car, what you gonna do? I'm like, she's gonna drive them around right now. And she goes, right now? I go, right now. Elizabeth's efforts to provide food, clothing, and other basic needs are surpassed only by her care, compassion, and dignity for those whom she serves. Mrs. Triggs's work is really grounded in giving people dignity. It's about acknowledging who that person is, um, that they are a person and that they can contribute even when they are maybe not in the best place. And seeing a way and finding a way for them to be successful, whatever that means for them, or to be a positive influence. And this little young boy came in and it's dark out, it's dark out. And he comes in and he says, can I get four, four meals? And I look at Ms. Triggs and she looks at me and she just says, let's put together four meals. She radiates love. And love is more than just feeding people. Uh, more, love is more than just giving someone a toy. Uh, you know, love is the actual human connection that we have to our fellow human beings. St. Vincent de Paul organized his contemporaries to respond compassionately to people's basic needs, and Elizabeth Triggs has lived her life with a Vincentian heart, serving the people of Western New York. Like St. Vincent de Paul, Elizabeth has really given up her life to give everybody in her community, the people that do not have what she has, to the people that don't have anything. She has given them love, a, a chance to be recognized, to be important, but more than anything, her compassion overflows with love and devotion to the poor. The Gospel writer James said, humble yourself before the Lord and he will exalt you. He has exalted her to this position so that she can help others through us. You know, St. Vincent um, was really embedded in the community that he served. 
Um, and Elizabeth does a lot of the same work, feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, uh, caring for the poor and the sick. And so it's, it's such a privilege to be able to honor someone who is very much um, not looking to be honored and under the radar and really is, is doing God's work and Vincentian work. For her enduring work to serve individuals living on the margins of society in our community, Niagara University is proud to present the St. Vincent de Paul Award to Elizabeth Triggs.